Hello, and welcome to our instructional series on BASIC Paxit Setup. In this video, we will cover the basic steps to calibrating Paxit for measurement and image analysis. First, please note that calibration requires that you have a Paxit database created with a field designated to store your measurements, noted by this little XY right here. This field must have its own lookup table with entries matching the magnifications on your microscope. These will be used to store each one of your measurement calibrations. If you have not completed these steps, please refer to our videos on Paxit database setup and configuring the Paxit measurement field before proceeding with this video. To begin calibration, open a captured image of a stage micrometer or another known measurement standard like a ruler or gauge block and make sure it's been taken at the magnification you want to calibrate. To calibrate, you must first zoom in on the image to one to one or higher. Your current zoom level is displayed in the title bar of your image. Simply use the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in on the image. You may need to click on the image first before it will zoom. Once at one to one, Adjust the image with the scroll bars, one on the bottom and one at the right, so that the markings are showing in the image. Now that your image is adjusted in the workspace, you are ready to calibrate. To do so, go to the Annotate tab in the Paxit ribbon and select the Calibrate button. This small window appears that makes sure that your image is of a known standard. Click yes, and a small window then displays the same lookup table as your measurement field in the database, showing the same magnifications that you entered there. Select the magnification that you use to capture the image of the micrometer and click OK. Next, you're prompted to choose a calibration method. If your scale bar is well aligned with the x-axis of your image, you could choose horizontal for calibration. If the markings of your scale bar are slanted and not perfectly aligned with the image's x-axis, you should use the diagonal calibration method. The diagonal method accounts for the distance in both the x and y axis of the image. For this demonstration, we'll use the diagonal calibration method. Once selected, you will see two crosshairs appear on your image. You will need to align each crosshair with the scale marking on your micrometer and tell Paxit the actual distance between these two points. To align the crosshairs with the markings on your micrometer, click on the left hand crosshair and continuing to hold the mouse down, drag the crosshair to the leftmost scale marking on your micrometer. If the, less most, if the leftmost marking is outside the image frame, simply drag the crosshair to the edge of the frame and it will automatically move the image in the direction you desire to go. Once you have reached the leftmost scale marking, place the crosshair at its edge. You may use fine adjustment controls located in the top left corner of your screen to reposition the crosshairs pixel by pixel. Simply use the directional buttons provided to place the crosshair at a precise location on the reference point. If you desire more accurate placement, use the zoom controls at the bottom right of your Paxit window to zoom further in on the image. You may have to readjust the scroll bars to see the crosshair again. Then adjust the crosshair to the desired point on the larger scale mark. Once finished aligning the left crosshair, scroll back to the right hand crosshair in your image. You may either zoom out and use the scroll bar, and in the same fashion, grab onto the right hand crosshair, drag it to the edge of the image, to the furthest right hand scale marker, and place the point there. Once again, I'm going to zoom in to make sure I get the most accurate placement. 
and this is important, make sure you place the crosshair at the same location on the marking as you place the left-hand crosshair. For example, my left-hand crosshair came in at the top left of this marking. So I want to do the same with the right-hand crosshair. Otherwise, the calibration will be too short for the actual distance covered. Once again, you can use the Find Adjustment Controls to align the crosshair with the reference point. Once both crosshairs are positioned at the same location on their scale markings, Again, use the zoom slider to go out to one to one, and then count the number of micrometer divisions between the crosshairs. Here I have from 19 down to seven. So that means on this micrometer, which is a division of one millimeter between each crosshair or marking, I have 12 units. So I'm going to hit okay and next, simply enter the number of units, which is 12, and make sure here to select the correct unit of measure. For instance, your scale bar, you may be using uh, microns between your uh, uh, scale markings. Here, I have millimeters, so I say it's 12 millimeters at 10x. Press OK. And next, um, this prompt, skip over it, click no for the time being, and now you're calibrated. To confirm calibration, measure a line, go up to the measurement tab in the PAXA ribbon, click on draw line, or measure line, click down, drag over between two points, and you'll see one, two, three millimeters between these hash marks and so I am accurately calibrated.